Now, if you have no more questions, I want to give you some verses from Jesus before you go. Yes. Okay. And I want yes. you to tell me, what do you think of these words? Yeah. These are the words that Jesus uttered when he was on earth. And they're recorded by his followers who saw him and heard him mm. or their disciples. All things have been handed over to me by my father. No one knows the son except the father. See, Ooh. nobody knows who I am except Amen. my father knows me as I am. Mm. Nor does anyone know the father except the son. And likewise, no one knows who my father is except me and mm. anyone to whom the son wills to reveal him. So he's saying, do you want to know God? You have to come to me because I'm the mm. only one who can make God known to you. So then look at his invitation. Now he invites, come to me. Now he's saying, since I'm the only one who can make God known, now I'm giving you an invitation. Come to me, all you who are weary and heaven laden, all you who are tired, burdened with life, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. If you're tired with life, you're tired because you don't know what the purpose of your life is and nothing's going your way and all the people in your life are disappointing you. Jesus says, come to me. I am gentle. I won't hurt you. I won't push you away. I won't insult you. I won't throw your past in your face. I'm not that kind of person. They'll remind you of your past and make you feel bad. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to give you rest. I'm here to give you peace. I'm here to show you you are valuable and that I love you. I'm here to give you rest and I will never shame you. That's what he's saying. And then he goes on to say this, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I won't make it difficult. The world will make it hard for you. Satan will make it hard for you, but I won't make it hard for you. And no matter how hard the world makes it, I'll be there to lift you and carry you because I won't leave you alone. But you have to come to me. Okay. That's one problem. Amen. I tell you what, for all the flack that Sam Moon gets for sometimes of him going off on people or talking crazy, things of that nature, that it is what it is people are going to be people but what he's doing now how he's talking to this person how he's sharing the gospel sharing the truth that's what it's about and i thank god so very much because this is what i've been introduced to right here this is the sam again i like all version sam's by the way but this version right here where sam is just breaking down and letting people know the truth bringing people to god i can't tell you how many streams i've seen where sam helped people come to the truth that's a beautiful thing and so i just wanted to say man to all the Sam Moon haters, how about y'all watch this, huh? How about y'all understand what this is? Because not everything's going to be butterflies and rainbows and everything's going to be soft and sugar coated and things of that nature. Sometimes you got to tell people what it is. You got to tell people who they are and what it is that they believe. I'm not always going to tell somebody and, and call a prophet, you know, some of the things I say to them. But when it's needed, it's needed. And that's all right. We can do that as well. You got to be able to do it all. Do it all. And that's what Sam does. He does it all. He not only presses the thumb down but he also builds up and lifts up and that's a beautiful thing can i give you a few more promises yeah <laughs> watch you because i want you to hear his words how beautiful these words are no yeah man, no i'm i'm uh, i am i'm feeling it uh, it's it's very it's very beautiful um, because I'm, no I'm, man has spoken the way jesus has spoken right but let me show you not, not that uh lovely like uh, how do you say it like it was very very kind words like um, very. he was kind and loving and compassionate to those who are broken those who are depressed, those who are sad, those who are misused and mistreated. But he was very stern and mean to those who thought they were better and self-righteous. See, this mm -hmm. is how when someone thought he was better and high and mighty, Jesus rebuked them and insulted them, put them in their place. But someone that was broken and depressed and sad and oppressed by people and looked down upon, he was nothing but love and gentle. Mm -hmm. He would never harm them. So even mm -hmm. I think about it, I start crying. You know that? Mm -hmm. He never shame. He never hurt. He never. <clears throat> yeah, it's um, um, can't even. He never humiliates someone who's been hurt, depressed, beaten, and left to feel worthless. He never hurt those people. He Ever. loved them and he healed them and he made them feel precious and valuable. <clears throat> That's my Lord Jesus. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I'm not expecting this. No, I know me neither. But Jesus does that. He makes grown men cry. But here, let me read. John 11, mm. 23 to 27. Mm. Watch this. That's spirit. This is him speaking. Martha was crying because she lost her brother. She loved her brother and he was dead. <clears throat> so she was heartbroken. And when she heard Jesus came, she ran to him. She goes, Lord, had you been here, my brother would not die. Yet even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. And this is what Jesus says to her. Look at his words. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. He's trying to give mm. her comfort. Martha, don't be heartbroken. Mm. Your brother will rise again. <clears throat> Martha said to him, I know. 
that he will rise again in the resurrection in the last day. Jesus said to her, now look at his words. I am the resurrection mm -hmm. and the life. I am the resurrection and life. He who believes in me will live even if he dies. And he, everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. But then he asks a question. Mm -hmm. Ever. You'll never die if you believe in me. Then he asks her a question. Do you believe this? So he's asking Martha, Martha, I know who I am. I'm the resurrection and the life. Anyone who loves me, trusts in me, they can never die because I can never die. I live, they will live. But I need to know, do you believe me and trust my word? So he's not just saying it to her. He's saying it to me and you. So now he's speaking to you, Michaela. Mm -hmm. Michaela, you're hearing my words. Yeah. But do you believe what I'm saying to you? Watch your answer. Look what she says. She said to him, yes, Lord, I have believed that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who comes into the world. Yes, I believe. And if you believe, you will receive and believe. Now watch this too. John 14, 27. Because he knows the world is hell. It's going to beat you down. It's going to make you sad. It's going to make you miserable. But look at his promise. Peace I leave with you, Mikaela. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give you. Because the world will give you false peace. Relationship. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Not, right? You know that. Yeah. The world will promise you peace, but end up misery. A guy will promise to love you only to dump you, right? Isn't that the truth? And yeah. He's, yeah. he's saying, I'm not giving you the peace the world gives you. Because the world's peace is temporary and it's fleeting and it's deceptive. It doesn't last. My peace will always preserve you and will fill you. But you have to trust in me. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be fearful. Now, watch what he says in John 16.33. I'm going to leave you with one more after this, all right? John 16.33. See, no man has spoken these words because no man can speak these words because Jesus is more than a man. He's God in the flesh. Now Amen. watch this. He, he never lies. Jesus never lies. He tells you the truth. How it's going to be in this world because this world has fallen. It's evil. They're evil people. They're Satan. So he tells No matter where you go, by the way, no matter what it is, no matter what belief, if they acknowledge who Jesus is. They acknowledge the fact that he was spitting truth, that he was preaching the what love really is. And but unfortunately, the people who don't believe that he is God, they just think that loves come from other things. Like, no, it's coming from him because he is God. He is love personified. He is justice personified. He is all these things because he is God in flesh. And that's a beautiful thing that we can actually have a relationship with God. We can have an understanding that, like Sam was saying, Jesus was talking to Martha, but he wasn't just talking to Martha. He was talking to us. He was talking to anybody who would hear his voice and understand who he is. That's a relationship right there. That's true love. That's understanding that God said, you know what? Because I love them so much, I'm going to show them. I'm going to show them through me what can be done. Through me, what can be done? Because we've tried. We've tried. I don't know about you, but I've tried to uh, be love. I've tried to be patient. I've tried to do all these things. But within myself, unfortunately, all I do is fail. And that's all right. Because when I fail, much like when Peter walking on the water and then he was still was with Jesus. He's seen all Jesus' miracles. He's seen everything that Jesus had to do. He was walking on water at the time. <laughs> and he still was like, you know what? Now nah, I'm taking my eyes off. So just imagine people who weren't walking with Jesus at the time where their eyes are. But yet he still comes to those people. He still comes to the brokenhearted to heal them. That's a beautiful thing. So thank God that he's pulling me up out of the storm that I put myself in because I took my eyes off him or that I never had my eyes on him to begin with. But that's, again, that's the love of God that he's still saying, you know what? We're here. I'm here. All you got to do is take my hand. That's love right there. So that in me, now notice, you have to be in me, meaning you have to trust in me. Mm. You have to believe in me. You have mm -hmm. to talk to me. You have to follow me, learn my teachings, try to act upon them, because this is only yours when you're in me. In me, you may have peace. In the world, you will have tribulation. The world's going to make it hell for you, but you got to stay connected to me. Mm -hmm. And I swear to you, he says, if you stay connected to me, take courage. I have overcome the world. He's saying, Michaela, the world's going to put you through hell. But I swear to you, because Jesus cannot lie. And it's going to bring me to the final passage. He cannot lie. He says, I swear to you, you remain in me. The world cannot destroy you because mm. I have crushed and destroyed the world. No matter what the world does to you, I will be there. And I will embrace you in my arms, mm. keep you close to my heart, my bosom, and fill you with my peace. But you have to be in me. John 16, 33. Now, the final ones I want to give you. John 14, verses 1 to 6. Now, notice how beautiful his promises are. Do not let your heart be troubled. Stop worrying about the world. Stop worrying about your circumstances. Stop worrying about your financial issues. Stop. Don't let it trouble you. Believe in God. Believe also in me. Now, look, his promise. In my Father's house are many dwelling places. If it were not so, I would have told you. There wasn't any dwelling place for you. I would have told you. I can't lie. I don't lie. 
Now watch what he says, right? If we're not so, I would have told you, for I go to prepare a place for you. He's not mm. just talking to them. He's talking to all of us. So he's saying, Michaela, I have a place prepared for you if you Amen. believe. Now watch his promise. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you will maybe also. So he's promising when death comes, when it's we're time to die, Jesus has sworn he won't lie. Michaela, I promise you, when the time comes for you to leave this world, on the other side of that door, I'll be there welcoming you in and bringing you to your home. I I'm cannot broken. lie. I'm preparing a place for you. There is a home in heaven, this great city, and it has Michaela written on it. That's your home. No one can take it from you. I built it for you because remember, Jesus is a carpenter. On earth, he's a carpenter in heaven, he's a carpenter. He's building homes. The carpenter's son, he's a building home and he's got a name with, with written written mm. on it michaela and when death comes if the lord doesn't return death comes to you and me the door will open and on the other side on the other side of glory lord have mercy on me forgive me on the other side of glory will be my lord mm. <clears throat> telling me come home son sam <clears throat> you finished the race what a day that'll be <clears throat> oh. it's very beautiful Oh, he's, be he's beautiful. He's beautiful. May the Lord forgive me when I feel him. I love the Lord. I don't want to feel him. But anyway, then he says, Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you're going. How do we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and mm. the truth mm. and the life. Michaela, I am your life. If you believe in me, you'll never die. I cannot lie. I speak the truth. So what I'm telling you is the truth. And I am the way home. I've come to take you home. No one comes to the Father but through me. And then finally, I will not leave you as orphans. Michaela, you're not an orphan. Though your father and mother have abandoned you, you have me and you have my father who's your father. And you have a heavenly family. I'm not going to leave you an orphan. I will come to you. After a little while, the world will no longer see me because he's in heaven physically. But you will see me because I live, you will live also. See, Jesus cannot die. And he says, if you believe in me, you cannot die. And I will come home. I will come to bring you home. These are the words of Jesus to you. Yeah, it was so... <laughs> I love sorry. No, you don't you never be sorry, never apologize. Jesus is in love with you and he makes even men cry. That's how beautiful he is. So he loves you. I can tell you because Jesus cannot lie. He's in love with you. He's in love with me. No matter how much I fail, he'll never fail me and he'll never fail you. He loves you. And he's telling you, I'm waiting, Michaela. I have a home with your name on it. And I'm waiting for you. You just tell me and I'll rush to embrace you with my arms and hold you tight. Like my baby girl, like my baby girl holds you tight to my chest. He loves you, okay? Just keep reading now. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Start with Matthew and Luke and read. And I'm on Skype anytime you have more questions. All right, sister? Mm, that was beautiful. That was amazing. Shout out to Sam Shamoon. So that was Sam Shamoon sharing with this Muslim girl about the truth of who God is and the love that God has for each and every one. Of God will never fail us. He has never failed me. No, it's not going to happen. He doesn't lie. Shout out to Sam Shamoon for all the funniness, for all the, you know, the ignorance, for all the, you know, the jabs and the talking about folks. This right here, this right here was beautiful. Thank God for giving him the understanding and the heart to be able to do what it is that he does, because he's been able through the love of God to help many people come to know the truth. Thank God for that, man. If you made up to this point. I appreciate you so very much. This has been your boy, the scripture plug, Albert. I'll catch you all next time. I'm out.